Assignment zero is the easiest assignment you'll have all semester. Basically, it ensures that you have R and R Studio on your computer and you have access to them for the semester. So we're gonna go ahead today and make sure you get it completed and also that you get a 100 on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. At this point, you should have R and R Studio installed on your computer. If you don't have them installed, watch the playlist on how to install R and R Studio. You need them both installed on your computer. We're gonna go ahead to the knitting test right here. And the big thing is, it may look different for your class. You may be in 320, 474, 522. The point allocations may be different, but every knitting test is the same. All we're doing is seeing if you can knit this file, which shows us you have access to R and R Studio. And there's a few other point allocations. We'll talk about what those are in a moment here. With this, we are going to right click these and we are gonna to go to save link as. Now make sure you are in the folder that is your working directory. You can see right here, I have BAS320 and I have some other files that I've created inside of there. Let's go ahead and save this RMD file, which stands for R Markdown file, and let's save it. Now we're gonna to go to the test image, which we also need, that's part of the grade down here. We are going to save link as, and we are gonna go right here to the BAS320 folder, which we're currently at, and we're gonna save it there. Make sure both of these are saved into your working directory. If you don't know what the working directory is, make sure to watch the video on that and you'll have your working directory set. So now that we have everything in our folder, let's hop over to R. So here we are inside of R Studio. R Studio uses R. So we are using R inside of R Studio. At all points in this class, you'll be using R Studio and you'll use R inside of R Studio. Now you notice assignment zero is right here, just right above my head right there. There's assignment zero and we're in our working directory. Make sure to watch the video on setting your working directory if you do not have your working directory set. And down here, we'll go down a little bit further down to the T's and we do see test image right there. There's test image. So we see both in our 320 folder, the assignment zero and the test image. And we wanna make sure they're both there because when it knits, it'll need to access that. So let's go ahead and open the file. We can just click right here and we open up the file. Now what this is, is this, this is an R markdown file. An R markdown file is basically like a Word document that allows you to code inside of it. You'll notice right here, these are just words, like a Word document, but then you'll see an area that's kind of grayed out. And that grayed out area is where we put in code. So you'll notice right here, we have code chunks. These are code chunks, which we can play by clicking right here and play the code chunk. A little bit more will be explained through this throughout the class, but this is an R markdown file, which allows you to write a Word document and also do code inside of it. And we'll explain in greater detail. But the good news right now is we don't need to do anything to this document as long as we have both of these in our working directory. Now with this right here, we're gonna click the down arrow right here under knit, and we're gonna go knit to Word document. When you do this, it might ask you to install R markdown. This is a package which allows you to knit and it's just extra things that R is adding on to allow R to do these things. So let's go ahead and knit to Word right here. Once it's done, it'll initialize Word, so we should see it open up, and here we are. Now here's the two things you wanna check. This is where people are gonna make their mistakes and lose points. We're gonna scroll down here, and let's check. We need to make sure we have the picture of the rocks. There's the test image, awesome, we got those points right here. Let's go down a little bit further, we got UT, good image right there. And then last but not least, we see the last bit of points check for this semester. So if you're currently watching this in this semester, the version of R is 4.0.2. Now make sure if this is a later semester, it has the right version of R. We like to have the most up-to-date version, have everyone using the same version. So the two areas you can lose points are is if you don't have the right version of R or if you don't have the test image. It kind of shows that you know how to put things in the right working directory. But if you have both this test image right here and if you have both the correct version of R, which can be seen right there. I've got it highlighted. Let's actually highlight it. Don't worry, you don't need to highlight it. <laughs> but you can see this right here. Once you're done with this, just go ahead and save it. And that is it. You'll turn this in. You don't need to do anything to it. I guess technically you could go to, doesn't even have your name on it, but you can put your name on it. Doesn't matter. All we want to see is that you can knit something in R. It shows us that you have R and R Studio on your computer. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us an email and we'll help you out.